Robbery arrest. Eyewitness News has lure on the son of a Rhode Island State Police captain has been arrested by East Greenwich Police. It's a story Eyewitness News first broke on WPRI.com. Tuesday night's armed robbery of a convenience store. East Greenwich Police informed us shortly before noontime about the arrest of this man, 18-year-old Samuel Lamont. He is the son of Rhode Island State Police Captain John Lamont. Lamont was arraigned in court just a short time ago, and Eyewitness News has learned this is not the first time Lamont has been in trouble with the law. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live from the mobile newsroom now with more on what she's learned. Samuel Lamont appeared stone-faced in court today, even as the judge decided to hold him without bail. All right, sir, what's your name? Samuel Lamont. Emotions spill over as Samuel Lamont faces a judge in Kent County Court. The 18-year-old is accused of armed robbery. You have a new charge, a felony of robbery in the first degree. Because it's a robbery, it's a felony. This court has no jurisdiction, so I can't take a plea. I actually write no plea on the complaint. East Greenwich Police say Lamont robbed Sunnybrook Farms convenience store at gunpoint on Tuesday. The defendant before you uh, walked in. I uh, walked up to the counter, uh, pulled a gun out of his waistband, and demanded money from the uh, clerk. Eyewitness News has confirmed Lamont is the son of Captain John Lamont, a high-ranking member of the Rhode Island State Police. State Police tell us this is a difficult time for Captain Lamont. You're alleged to be in violation of the terms and conditions of your bail. We've also learned this isn't Samuel Lamont's first run-in with the law. Police say Lamont's new robbery charge is a bail violation related to previous charges of simple assault, domestic, and disorderly conduct. Again, Samuel Lamont is being held without bail. He was referred to the public defender's office and is due back in court later this month. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.